Okay, good, good. Hi there. Welcome to the third episode in our series of uh, videos on the build of the Crimson Guitars Litterbug Cigar Box Guitar. Did I say those in the right order? Yes, that's about, right. I think. Um, so last week, Callum was busy working on the fretboard and the radius of the fretboard. And what we're going to do this week, he's going to do, is to finish radiusing the fretboard. The next job after that, because we've been um, discussing what the sequence should be of the various jobs that are still remaining, and we think the next thing to do will actually be to install the frets, so that we still have a flat back here on the, the back of the neck as a surface when we hammer the frets in. If we have some time still after that, then we might start looking at something else like um, doing the carve of the neck, but we'll see. Um, particularly going by last week's rate of progress, I think if we actually get all the frets installed, that would already be pretty good. So this is looking like an increasingly long series of videos because uh, I think the, the time that all of this takes is uh, longer than we had anticipated. Neither of us really knows what we're doing, so no. it takes a while. But it's all good fun. Um, in the meantime, I bought a Proxon rotary multi-tool, aka Dremel, or Dremel clone. Uh, these are supposed to be actually um, slightly better than the Dremels, according to many of the reviews that I've seen. It didn't come, however, with any routing bits, and so I've ordered a little pack with a couple of routing bits, which will allow us to, to do the inlay work that we want to do. I also bought a fret saw from Cruising Guitars a week or two ago, so that we have the right tool for doing that job. And various other bits and pieces, and the other thing that I got was a spoke shave, which I didn't have, um, which is possibly the best tool, or anyway, it's what we're going to use for doing the neck carve. So there we go, I think we're all set. Yep. And first job then is to carry on with radiusing the neck. Yep. So, off we go. Yep. Finished with the fretboard radiusing? Yep, looks about done. Good, good. So next it's going to be about getting the frets in there. So we're going to have to saw down the, uh, the, slots. the slots. Yeah, because the in the radiusing process, um, the slots have all but disappeared. Yeah, on the edges on the, the slots edges. have completely disappeared. Uh, and they weren't deep enough to start with anyway, so... No, we can't so we're going to have to measure that and uh, yeah, make those deeper. Get the job done. So did you measure the frets? Uh, yeah, I checked. It goes about about half the of the fretboard down. Right, I, I 
measured the other bit of fret wire that we had. Yeah. And I make it about a millimetre and a half. Yeah, that's tie uh, For actual depth. That's tie for to be. And the fretboard is... Yep, three millimetres. At this point, so... You're wielding the new fret saw. Yeah. So how does that fit in the slots? Does it seem to fit in uh, quite well? It's about the right size, as you'd expect. Kind of. Yeah. So I'm going to try and. Sort of radius your slot as well, or not particularly better. Uh, I don't think that really matters. Yeah. It doesn't matter if the slot is deeper. Uh, oh, yeah, it's only really the edges that count. Yeah. So what does that look now? It's really much deeper. That's a lot better. Yeah, and that's, that's deep enough. Yeah, I mean, I, I exchanged right emails too. with Crimson Guitars and um, Daniel said that um, super gluing them in is a belt and braces approach. So that it's not necessary. Okay. Um, obviously, I mean, it makes it easier to take them out if you need to refret, but I don't think it's we would really anticipate refretting this. So, shall I try? This kind of cuts off. Does it get any wider? No, it doesn't. Yeah, okay. I will do that then. Alright. Okay, so we've cut about half of the frets to size. So you're going to make a start on bashing them in? Pretty much. For the second bit of wire, I've actually bent it with my hands to to give it a, a radius and hopefully help to make it make them sit better in the fretboard. So, right, frets are in. Frets are in. Finished bashing this bit of wood up. I had to cut a couple of times because the end got too splintered to really be useful anymore. Uh, next job. Are be... they in okay? Yeah, they're in okay. Um, yeah, pretty good, really. So yeah, now filing the ends down, see how fast this goes. If this is slow, we'll use the uh, multi-tool to get the edges down faster. You're starting to rub the wood. Am I? Okay, so we've decided to try cutting off the long ends with the rotary tool. Mm. Filing isn't necessarily slow, but if this is easier, then why not? 
so we have some little cutting discs here. Yes. Okay, so those things are quite delicate. Safety right. glasses. Yep. It is quite good, um, it's just you have to be super stable because here for instance I bumped. Yeah. But, uh, right, but that's just practice I suppose. You're maybe literally in the wrong place for in case there is a problem. <laughs> like exactly in the plane of the disc. Indeed. How do you find the tool? The tool is good. It's very. Considering what it's doing, it's not that, that loud. No, it's, um, it's. I mean, the the noise is from the cutting. It's not from the motor. Yeah, the motor just seems very, very good, very smooth. Easy to hold and use. Yep, that's quite a good little thing. Good, and good. it's not heating up no. the motor. So Excellent. So this is after using the Proxon multi-tool. Yep. So that's pretty good. And you see how much the disc gets used up as it as it cuts. That's a new one. That's the one I used. Yeah. So now I think we tape up the fretboard and then use a file for the rest. Too much. So I've been out for a walk with the dogs. Mm -hmm. You've been busy. Uh... Yep, we've got this side done and this one down to here. Just got these last two to do and then a bit of tidying up. Okay, so you're about done for today. Yep. So what have you actually done finally? Uh, so, roundup of what we actually did was about what we said we'd do. Finished radiusing the fretboard and then got the frets in and filed down to fit nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, end result, quite nice. Uh, the frets aren't levelled yet, of course, but we weren't planning that on doing that just yet. So there are still plenty to do, but uh, that was good progress today. It's all gone well. No problems there. No major mistakes or anything? No major mistakes. Uh, I did occasionally bash into the corners here but they haven't been rounded yet, so I'm not actually worried about that. And the, the fretboard itself there feels very smooth and, and very good.
How much can that zoom? Yeah, that can zoom that much. That's Pretty that. good. The edges. That's how those are seated in there. Okay, so that's it for today. Yep. I will at some point tidy this up a bit. Yeah. Just get some really fine sandpaper and just. Mm -hmm. Because there are a couple of little marks of things. But that's expected, really.